Cedar Park, Texas. Hurry up before it gets here. That's right there. Right above the house. Look at it's going to drop down top of our house. Lifelong resident Floyd Zahn never dreamed that he and his family would come face to face with a killer tornado. Get the dogs in the house. Hurry up. I realized, I, I guess subconsciously, it was a tornado coming in. So I, at first, I thought it was just a windstorm. I felt like the house could take a pretty good licking. I had no idea what we were in for. Isn't that something, son? Let's go inside now. Floyd and his son round up their dogs and race into the house. But in just seconds, their home is hopelessly trapped in the tornado's death grip. Huh? Man, isn't that something? Oh, mom. It sounded like some kind of an animal was actually trying to work its way into our house. Dude, come in! While Floyd's house is being pummeled by the vicious storm, his neighbor Paul Wallachek also has his video camera rolling. Here it comes. Get in the house, guys. Right there. Get in the house. When lightning started flashing, that's when I went inside and I placed my camera on a stand, and I took cover with the children. What Paul's camera captures is astonishing. The sky filled with debris, and a 30-foot tall tree whipping violently in the wind. It is a chilling sight. Meanwhile, inside Floyd's house, the angry storm continues its rampage. It looked like a swarm of bees coming over the rooftop. I mean, two by fours were flying by, picnic tables, pieces of sheet rock, pieces of siding, and nothing's landing. It's just flying horizontally and smacking everything. It's going through my mind that we could, we could be blown away. Mercifully, Floyd, Paul, and their families are spared. But the question remains, what about next time?